Hello everyone, welcome. So today we will be going ahead with the types of chemical reaction. To tell you what are the types of chemical reactions that we have, we will be talking about different kinds of reactions. We will be talking about different kinds of reaction. Okay, now if we talk about the different kinds of reaction, to tell what are the different kinds of reaction we have, number one is combination reaction. combination reaction so what we have we have carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide giving a very simple one so it is going to combine or uh, i can have calcium um, or i can have calcium oxide plus water which gives calcium hydroxide which is uh, which is slaked lime calcium OH twice this is slaked lime okay so this is combination reaction second i have decomposition reaction so when there is a breaking down like calcium carbonate when heated it gives calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide this is decomposition reaction third one we have displacement reaction Displacement reaction means zinc plus H2SO4 will give zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. So what happens in the solution? Zinc and hydrogen's places are replaced at, or that is displaced. So hence we are calling it as displacement reaction all right now if i go to the textbook we will have it as so here if you see we are having a different types of reaction now it is called talking about combination reaction what is combination reaction combination reaction means it is trying to combine see calcium oxide i told you this calcium oxide plus water gives calcium hydroxide or CaOH twice, which is slaked lime. So in this case, so whenever I have the formation, if I one single product is formed from a combination of two or more reactions, I call it as a combination reaction. I call it as a combination reaction. Okay, now going to the next part. Going to the next part. Here I can have uh, I can have there are various things like burning of coal. So carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide. So that is also a combination reaction. Okay, or formation of water as I told you. Now basically a, a reaction which is formation of a product it will release out a lot amount of energy hence i call it exothermic reaction hence i call it exothermic reaction now what happens in exothermic reaction if i have to say you in exothermic reactions exo means outside exo means outside so whenever and therma is energy in the form of heat so heat is being released means it is exothermic if heat is taken in i will i would have said it as endothermic endo means inside exo means outside all right now so now if, uh, the, one of the uh, examples if i say respiration when i am respiring when i am breathing that what happens so here also a lot of energy is broken down during metabolism and this is the temperature is released if you take your hand and put it close to your uh, uh, your nose and you breathe out you will find that the uh, temperature of the breath out air is a bit high okay as a bit high fine 
Now next, I am coming to decomposition reaction when there is a breaking down that is happening. So if I talk about a ferrous sulfate, which is broken down into ferric oxide, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. So they are oxides of sulfur which is being broken down. Or I can also, uh, you will uh, have these cases, they will lose out water, there will be rusting of iron, then uh, calcium carbonate, as I told you, the limestone, which is broken down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So whenever this is done, okay, so decomposition of calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide on heating is important decomposition reaction used in various industries. So calcium oxide, it, which is a lime or quick lime, it, is, it has many uh, uses like manufacturing of cement and all those things. So they is, that is a thermal decomposition reaction. All right. Next, we have uh, also, uh, you will have displacement reactions or this is also decomposition reaction wherein in presence of sunlight, silver chloride gets decomposed into silver and chlorine. So, okay, okay this is, um, uh, you know, white silver uh, uh, chloride, it will turn into gray if you keep it uh, in the sunlight. So this is the thing. And then we have displacement reaction. I'll be going to those questions again. Displacement reactions wherein one element is taken up by the other element. So if I see here, see here iron plus copper sulfate, if I see here iron plus copper sulfate, what is happening? This iron is replaced by copper and be, it is becoming iron sulfate plus copper. So this is kind of displacement reaction. So if one displacement is taking place, I will say it as only displacement reaction. But in cases, if I have the displacement, two displacements taking place in the same reaction, I'll call it as double displacement reaction. So now in this case, if you see, I am having sodium sulfate, sodium sulfate and barium chloride. So what is happening? Sodium is coming here in the place of barium and forming sodium chloride. And barium is moving to place of sodium and becoming barium sulfate. So there is two displacements taking place and hence the name double displacement reaction. All right, so these are the displacement reactions that I have. Now I would like to uh, get back to the questions that I have left earlier. So this is a question if I, if you see, so this is the question. First, it tells me a solution of egg, egg, substance X is used in whitewashing. So what is used in whitewashing? So I am basically using lime for white whitewashing. In whitewashing, we use quick lime. So what is the formula of quick lime? It is calcium oxide. Okay. So now I can say quick lime. So question number one and is answered. Quick lime, or I can say calcium oxide, or I can say calcium oxide that I use for whitewashing. Next question, write the equation, write the reaction of the substance X in water. So now what is the reaction? Calcium oxide plus water. What does it give? It gives out slaked lime. That is CaOH twice. Right, CaOH twice. So this is the reaction that has taken place. So to balance. If I put two here, oh, catch you. oh no, it is balanced. It is already balanced. So it is hydrogen. All right. Next question: Why is the amount? What is? Why is the amount of gas collected in the test tubes in activity one point seven double of the amount collected in other? So let me show you what is activity 1.7 before I go ahead. 
answering the question. Here. So now I now it is uh, shown this activity 1.7 1.7 states that take a plastic mug, trim two holes as it is as at its base and fit rubber stoppers in these holes. Insert carbon electrodes in the rubber stopper as shown in 1.6. Connect the electrodes to a 6 volt battery. Fill the mug with water such that electrodes are immersed. Add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to water. Take two test tubes filled with water and invert them over the two carbon electrodes. Switch the current and leave the apparatus undisturbed for some time. You will observe the formation of bubbles in the both electrodes. This bubbles displays water in the test tube. In the is the volume of the gas. So here what happens the volume of the gas in each test tube is different. Okay. So this is basically talking about the hydrolysis or breaking down of water. So if I break down water, what is it forming? It is having hydrogen plus oxygen. So if I balance it, it is going to have twice of hydrogen and one set of oxygen that is there. So it is in the ratio two is to one, it will get divided. Hence, it answers the question why the volume of hydrogen is double. So I will have hydrogen double the amount of that of oxygen. So that is the answer to the next question. All right. Hope that is clear. If it's not clear anywhere, uh, you can always go ahead and query me. I'll answer you uh, further. Dead itself. Okay. So these are the things that we have. We have talked about displacement, double displacement. Next kind of reaction is oxidation reduction re reaction. So this is also known as redox reaction. This is also if both takes place at the same time, this is redox. Oxidation means what? First coming to oxidation. Oxidation means adding of oxygen. Adding of oxygen. So copper plus oxygen will give copper oxide. This is oxidation reduction. And what is reduction? Reduction is removal of oxygen. Removal of oxygen of, or addition of hydrogen. So Zinc oxide in carbon, if I place, you see it is zinc and carbon monoxide. So oxygen got removed off. So this is an example of reduction reaction. This is an example of reduction reaction. Okay. So now if both are taking place at the same time, I am calling it as a redox reaction. All right. So Mm. Now, oxidation, basically, it is a part whenever there is a cor corrosion taking place, what is happening is oxygen is being added and hence only the corrosion is taking place. The moisture is entering into and then there is a corrosion. Even rancidity is the presence of oxidation. It is the oxidation of food that will taste or it will make the food get brownish in color. Okay. So, these are the two things, corrosion and granicidity. All right. So, these are the th uh, things that uh, is there. So, now uh, you can go ahead, answer the questions because it's already available. The answers are available in the book. Thank you.